and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 3, and in this tutorial, we will talk about basics of running S parameter simulation on your schematic designs. So we will start from tutorial 2, and here we were able to create a subnetwork, and inside a subnetwork, we place few components like three inductors and couple of capacitors. We talked about basics about rotating a component, uh, connecting a wire to those components, etc. Now in this tutorial, we will extend our learning in order to um, you know, run an S-parameter simulation to plot the frequency response of our circuit. So before we do that, I would save this design and I will you know, go back to the ADS main window and here, last in tutorial two, we created a new schematic, but we just use the default name. So before I go ahead and run simulation, I would like to rename the cell. So I will just right click and select rename option, and I will call it test bench. As this is going to hold the, the simulation bench for my design. So I'll call it test bench underscore my filter. And under this design, we can see the schematic view and we can open that schematic back. So we are back to the place where we want to set up a simulation. Now to set up an S parameter simulation, I can go down to simulation S parameter template. Um, in this palette, uh, we do have all the required things which we need to run an S parameter. For running any ADS simulation, you need a simulation controller onto the schematic. So in this case, we will place an S parameter controller and we simply need minimum of one termination for any circuit. But because this is our two port network, we will place two termination, one on the either side. Um, now we will make this connection. So this is equivalent to taking your DUT or circuit and connecting to a network analyzer where we connect two cables at the input and output. And the reference impedance in this case is 50 ohm. However, when you are working with ADS, you can define your own R plus minus JX here. For example, if you want to give R plus J20, you could give it the, the required impedance as you need. Remember, it is Z, not R. But in this case, like a traditional instrument, we will keep both sides as 50-50 ohm. Now in S-parameter controller, we define our simulation sweep conditions. So in this case, we can choose the sweep type to be single point, linear, or log. So I'll keep it a linear sweep. And because our structure represents something like a low pass filter, I will start from 0 0.01 gigahertz, which is 10 megahertz, however, you can choose the unit to be anything you want. I prefer to work in gigahertz. And my stop will be 0.5 gigahertz. Now, we can either select a suitable step size or I can enter number of points. If I enter number of points, then the step size will automatically be calculated within that start and stop. So it is quite simple. Now, by default, S parameter controller will only compute S parameters if we need to compute more parameters, we can do so by going to parameter tab and we could compute Y parameters, Z parameters or group delay. Now group delay is an important aspect of filter design. So I'll go ahead and select a group delay. If you're designing something like a no noise amplifier and we would like to do noise figure calculation, we can go to noise tab and select calculate noise. However, noise figure doesn't make sense for a filter circuit. So we will disable that for the moment. Now that's how simple it is to set up an S-parameter simulation. Just remember the required terminations, the termination impedance, and an S-parameter controller. We will save our design, and we will click on the simulate icon to start simulating our design. Alternatively, you can go to simulate and press on this simulation option, or just simply use an F7 hotkey. In order to understand few basic simulation settings, what will happen when you run simulation, ADS will create a data set, and by default, it will have the same cell name as your cell schematic design. It will also create a data display, which will also have the same cell name, and it will automatically open the data display. So all these settings are already set up for you. So we can go ahead and now simply click on the simulate icon. Now with every simulation, it's important to note there's a status window 
which in case of any error or warning will will display the suitable messages here and in case you're not successful running simulation you can have a look here in this data display we can plot all kind of data but this is your five minutes to learn about running an s parameter simulation look forward to a new video on talking about data display have a good day and happy designing thanks for watching